What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Go hit it. Go hit it. Is it there? Is it there? <laughs> and it's time to follow me on my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. y'all in theaters today is the new M. Night Shyamalan movie Old. It's actually based off a comic book called like Sandcastles or a, a graphic a graphic novel called Sandcastles. Tell you a little bit about what the movie's about. So the basis of old movie is this family goes to you know this tropical island. They hear from the hotel staff about this secluded beach. They bring them to them. You know they want to have a nice relaxing day on the beach. They get there but then strange things start to happen. They begin to age and they can't escape. Like I said the concept of old movie is is intriguing. I mean, you're stuck on this beach, you're aging like with years within an hour, and you don't know why, and you can't escape. It definitely has that M. Night Shyamalan feel, and actually even the end has that little twist where the M. Night Shyamalan always tries to get you with the shocker. The film's weird. It has its funny moments. It's clever at times, it's even scary at times, but I tell you, with all of that, it's still disappointing. Maybe one reason is I found the cast kind of just lackluster, <laughs> you know, you never really get too attached. And maybe this is the point, I mean, these people are aging so fast and, you know, uh, changing, especially the younger ones growing up so fast that they have to change cast that it never gives you that much time to actually connect with them. So that may be the point, but it kind of just leaves you where well, when things happen to the particular casts or characters in it, you're just left with kind of a like, man. It did have its gripping moments. I mean, you know, you saw in the trailer that, you know, one of the characters gets pregnant and, and that was kind of intense scene. And then there was like an impromptu surgery on the beach where, you know, it had moments where you're just like kind of at the edge of your seat holding your breath. But still in the end, you're left like, oh, all right, are they gonna get off the beach? What's happening? Is it, are they just all gonna die there or age till they die? What's going on? Like I said, they have the, the classic M. Night Shyamalan twist ending. But let me tell you, that is what drew me over the edge not liking this movie. And I don't wanna say too much about it cause with a twist ending, I am definitely not gonna give spoilers, but it made, I'm gonna tell you this, it made me mad. It made me mad because the, just the timing of this movie, they, this is like the worst time it came out. Know your audience, know, know the times in Night Shyamalan. This is not the time for this movie. You might be left confused right now, like what? I don't wanna to give too much to spoil the plot or, or the twist endings, but once you see it, if you go see it, you'll understand why I was mad. If you're still interested to go see it, let me give you a little bit of the parent's guide review. As far as language, that wasn't too bad. They had one F word. They had the A word and like a GD word, some GDs, dams in there. But yeah, as far as the language, I didn't find it to be extremely harsh or too bad. Probably the biggest lookout for parents is the violence in this. Like I said, you know, uh, people are d aging, you know, people are dying. There's dead bodies. There's moments with like, knife wieldings and stabbings and i even mentioned like a, a surgical procedure where it's kind of graphic shows on there so that's probably the biggest lookout they do have some nudity in it um which mostly was like dead bodies found you see some bare butts and stuff like that and then i also mentioned like a uh, a, a pregnancy that happens so you know they do have implied sex it doesn't show any kind of sex like that but that's the big looks out lookouts for this movie. It's in theaters today, July twenty third. You know, it's it wasn't one of those movies I regret seeing. I just probably won't see it again. Be mad, but you know what? Maybe that's the point. Maybe that shows, you know, the intensity of the movie. If it's gonna invoke some kind of emotions like that, perhaps it isn't as bad as I thought. Maybe I'm a little biased of how angry it made. Saw it. Are planning on seeing it? Let me know. Comment below, thumbs, comments, all that. Until next time.